Hello aspirants, welcome to Ekamai Second. Today we are going to discuss about recent cabinet decision in giving approval regarding next generation launch vehicle with respect to space technology. Let us understand what is the benefit of going for next generation launch vehicle development, why ISRO is trying to develop this particular launch vehicle and then we will also compare what are all the launch vehicles that ISRO had so far. Right? So we will understand then launch vehicles and its key features in a short and informative video. So first thing. There is an important announcement regarding TGPSC Group 1 prelims come mains foundation batch which is about to start from 23rd September. This particular course has a duration of 7 months including 2 years validity. This particular course also offers you one to one mentorship including and tesseries also will be provided along with study material and current affairs also are included as part of this program. So this program will be available both in online as well as offline modes. So for any further details you can contact us on this number. Right. So. So what is the point of discussion? Recently, you know, in the 10 cabinet decisions that were covered and I have also made a separate video on all the 10 key cabinet decisions taken. So in that video, you can find it more. So here they have given approval for development of next generation launch vehicle in terms of space technology, right? So what is this particular launch vehicle and what are the key features? Let us understand. So next generation launch vehicle. So this is get, getting developed. And presently we are using LVM3, Launch Vehicle Mark 3 Generation Launch Vehicle or you can say this is a fourth generation launch vehicle of ISRO, right. So we are going to, so what is the advantage, why we are going for again next generation launch vehicle is this next generation launch vehicle, NGLV I am writing in short, this can carry three times the payload three times payload with respect to LVM3, the same time with only 1.5 times of the cost of LVM3 and it is also having main option is reusability, reusability right only from the first stage of the engine only it can have this feature of reusing it for multiple operations. That means our cost is getting saved. At the same time, we can carry very heavy satellites also in the future with next generation launch vehicle. Then how much is the weight then it can carry means generally 30 tons weight it can carry into the low earth orbit. So that is the main initial target we have kept and we are going to test this next generation launch vehicle in three developmental stages like D1, D2, D3 and all. So you can say these are the test trials which ISRO generally conducts and this will be conducted over 8 year term. right? So over a period of next 8 years, they will be conducting a series of experiments to find out its efficiency and accuracy then they will be going for, they will be using this. So then let us understand in which particular things they are going to plan this. right? So first we need to understand this is going to be used in future communication satellites launching. They will be using this in communication satellites. They will also use in deep space exploration missions also. Deep space exploration missions like in case if you launch any Chandrayaan 5, 6 in future. So those things also can be launched easily with this particular thing. At the same time, we are actually planning to develop our own international space station. Like already international space station is existing, right? So like we are also planning this as Bharati Antariksha station. So even this is also getting planned according to this next generation launch vehicle itself, right? So these are the main things which the ISRO is actually planning for in the future. Then will understand all the launch vehicles of ISRO. So first we need to understand what are the launch vehicles we had so far. First thing you need to understand SSL, SLV, right? SLV means satellite launch vehicle. So this actually got developed in 1970s to 80s period. What is the main thing is this has all three stages of the solid fuel. So solid fuel is the main fuel that is covered in all the three stages of SLV and what is the payload capacity? It can carry maximum of 40 kg payload. So that is the main restraint you can see. Then we have developed augmented satellite launch vehicle. So these two got retired actually now. So they are not anymore in use. So then what is the main thing here? We also have all, st all stages solid fuel only. But if you see the payload capacity, it got increased from 40 kgs to 150 kgs. That is the augmented satellite launch vehicle. Then we have PSLV. So PSLV is the first launch vehicle to have liquid fuel. 
to have liquid fuel. So this is the main advantage of PSLV and it has four stages, solid, liquid, solid, liquid. So four stage vehicle you can see, four stage launch vehicle and this is also considered to be workhorse of ISRO because of its reliability and its credit in delivering the missions also. And we have to importantly remember Chandrayaan 1 Mangalyan mission or MOM we also have at the same time it also has a credit of launching 104 satellites at one go. So these are the achievements of few achievements I can say of PSLV because out of almost all the launches except the two launches most of the times PSLV has been successful. So that is also showing its accuracy and efficiency in functioning. Then coming to next one GSLV. So what is the main problem of PSLV is it can carry a maximum weight of 1750 kgs only till an extent of 600 kilometers into the space. So beyond a certain weight we cannot carry or we cannot launch any deep space missions or interplanetary missions like Gaganyan or Aditya L1 and all. So those are not actually possible with PSLV. So that is the reason why we have went for next generation launch vehicle that is fourth generation launch vehicle geosynchronous satellite launch vehicle. So what is the main thing here? We have three stage a solid, liquid and cryogenic. Cryogenic means when we generally store the fuel at a sub zero temperatures you can say almost minus 150 to one minus 180 degrees centigrade if you store the fuel so that it can provide more thrust okay so that's the main objective so this is the build up of GSLV that means it can carry heavy satellites right so at the same time we also need to understand initially in 2004 when we have launched GSLV we have taken the help of Russia so here whatever the cryogenic engine that is used that is of Russian help okay so it is not indigenous so that's the reason we have developed our own GSLV MK3 with indigenous cryogenic engine technology so we have made it indigenous cryogenic okay so it is cryogenic engine technology that means we have made it on our own CE20 that is the name of the engine we generally have developed on our own. So this is what we are using even in Chandrayaan 2, Chandrayaan 3 and now in Gaganyaan mission right. So in future missions also we are expecting that LVM 3 okay its versions will be used in the future explorations. Not only this we also have some other launch vehicles like SSLV recently you know as success, as successfully the test demonstration also happened SSLV TD we call test demonstrator that means small satellite launch vehicle so this can be only carrying maximum of 500 kg payload right so till this weight only they generally can carry small satellites okay why to waste the uh, satellites like PSLV and all in case if you are going to launch any small satellite we need not waste PSLV and huge cost also should not be spent so for that reason we are developing this SSLV and for this we also are developing second launch port of ISRO at Kulashekara Patnam right so that is also very advantageous for us Kulashekara Patnam Kulashekara Patna. So this is what we have to understand. This is in the state of Tamil Nadu, right? Then we also have reusable launch vehicle technology. This is also under tester demonstration only. We have named this as pushpak. So generally when we launch any launch vehicle after going into the atmosphere when it completes each stage. So this will again burn up in the atmosphere. So only the final stage will which by the time which generally it will be placing the satellite into the orbit. So it will end like a debris. Okay. So and it will be acting like a space debris. So we also have that in vision of minimizing the space debris in future and to minimize the cost of the launch also. So for that reason we are going for reusable launch vehicle so that these stages will again re-enter into the atmosphere so they'll get slightly damaged but still we can make it in the next attempt. So that means we can reuse it in the next attempt so that we are saving the cost At the same time we are trying to minimize the space debris. So these are all the launch vehicles associated with this row which are in the test demonstration stage at the same time which are all already have been under ISRO. So now let us see the practice question. Which of the following statements regarding PSLV are correct? PSLV is designed primarily for launching satellites into geostationary orbits. PSLV is known for its versatility and have been used 
for launching a wide range of satellites into different orbits including polar and low earth orbits PSLV has a unique capability to launch multiple satellites in single mission and often referred to as multiple payload mission so how many of these options you feel correct okay so try to put your answer in the comment section so it is not actually this please correct this option by mistake it was actually printed as okay so these are the options which you need to consider okay this is two only then as we have reached the end of the video today we have discussed about the next generation launch vehicle of isro which was recently given nod by the union cabinet in this context we have seen what are the main features and advantages that this next generation launch vehicle offers and we also have compared all the launch vehicles that isro had so far in the future launch vehicles of isro in this video if you found the video informative let us know in the comment section thanks for joining all the very best